It is lunchtime, and I've eaten the same lunch all summer <laughs> in some various form or fashion. And uh, spread with homemade mayonnaise, a slice of cheddar cheese, <laughs> my spicy honey pickles, and when tomatoes were booming in season, a big couple thick slices of tomatoes. But I'm saving my last batch of tomatoes for, I wanna try freeze dried tomato chips. Um, but Todd just ran out to the garage. It has been the wettest fall, crazy rain. And while I was gone, he found a whole bunch of mushrooms, puffball mushrooms, saved the biggest one. And he wants to try it today for lunch. I don't know that it's gonna be necessarily enough it's pretty big, actually. He just got in with it. Um, I don't know that it's necessarily going to be enough sustenance for me for lunch, but we're going to grill it up. While he's getting it cooked up, I'll at least have my proper lunch in my belly. Yeah, I was researching them a little bit. It looks like the moon. It does. Somebody on our, on our Facebook post, somebody said, remember that movie, um, Nightmare on Halloween, yeah, or whatever looks that like was, his head. Mm -hmm. like that guy's head. Nightmare on Christmas, it's or something yeah, like something that. like that. But I was researching, and from what I saw, a three point five ounce piece, so about a quarter of a pound of this, contains forty five grams of protein. Oh no, kidding! And like forty grams oh, of carbohydrates. Forty grams of carbs and protein. So there's a lot of. Sustenance, sustenance in, in one of these. Mm -hmm. I would not be, I was surprised by that. So you so, have to wash it still and everything? So we'll wash it and we'll slice it open. We'll make sure it's still good. And then we'll fry some of it up in a pan and taste it and see how it is. Sounds good. If we like it, we'll go find some more and then freeze dry them. As much as it's raining, there could be a lot more coming. Yeah, right. I picked this guy back on Monday and just put them in the refrigerator. If you want to put them in the fridge to save them, don't put them in a bag or anything. Just set them in your fridge and to make sure they're still good. They'll be white on the inside like this. If they start to turn brown, they're not good anymore. I've cut this one about a half to three quarters of an inch thick. Check them for worms too or little pieces of dirt. So we have found worms in them. I'm going to use a little bit of butter and a little avocado oil. Supposedly these things act like a sponge and they'll soak up a ton of butter. And they kind of, they're kind of like zucchini in a way. They'll take on basically whatever flavor you cook them with. So we're going to try an experiment today and try some wood-fired garlic seasoning on one piece. It's a buttery steakhouse everything but the bagel, and then some basil leaves and tomato skin powder that we dehydrated. So four different varieties, we'll try them and we'll see how they all taste and how they turn out. They turned out good? I think so, they smell good. So this one is the everything but the bagel, tomato basil, uh, wood-fired garlic one, and this one's the buttery steakhouse. Rachel's been working on getting them all the rest of the pieces cubed up. Yep. That's a whole bowl, that's a lot. Yep. I wonder if what it's like to just eat it, plain. And we learned that the skins just peel right off. Hmm. Try a piece like that. It, it tastes like absolutely like nothing. Nothing? Like styrofoam. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> no flavor at all. Maybe a little bit of aftertaste. 
That is really weird. It's cool. It's squeaky in your teeth. Yeah. Okay. I'll try tomato basil. I'm trying. Oh, they're so soft. Ooh, I don't like that feeling. Mmm. Mm. I definitely, I'm not a super big mushroom fan. They definitely turn that slimy mushroomy flavor. Yeah, the cooking. texture. Mm. Mm. I mean, it tastes, it tastes good, but the texture, yeah, is definitely something that I'm, it's one of the things that I've always liked, disliked about mushrooms is that rubbery, slimy. You think it's just too much oil and butter? I don't know. Hmm. The video we watched last night when he cooked them up, they got all soft and rubbery like yeah. that too. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> That's okay. That that one with the wood fire garlic. Try that one. That one's good. Hmm. I like my everything but the bagel one. I just think I would want them in something or on like pizza or something. I. Hmm. Or like even like a side with onions and on a steak, like something to give it more body, you know? Mm. So I wasn't just eating slimy mushrooms. <laughs> it's very much the texture of a super thick crepe. Yeah, kind of. Mm -hmm. Like it's an aggy to... texture inside. Yeah. And it definitely takes on whatever flavor you cook this in it takes it on and becomes that flavor, basically. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's anything I would ask for. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I am dehydrating these because they are good, you know, good protein source and I'm sure there's good vitamins and... We'll freeze dry them, yeah, you mean? We'll yeah, that's what I meant, freeze dry them. And then um, we can always toss them in things. Okay. Like, Put them on as pizza toppers or in spaghetti or whatever. Yeah, a lot of people will will um, search online. There's a ton of different recipes out there. A lot of people will slice them up, dip them in like flour, egg wash, bread crumbs, and fry them that way. It almost makes like a little fried, deep fried mushroom. Yeah. So we do have. If we're gonna deep um, freeze fry those, we need to go downstairs and get that stuff out. Yeah, you guys want to see what's in the freeze dryer? Todd did some fun experiments while I was gone, and I'm excited to see it. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. All right, I'll run downstairs. I'll grab that stuff. We'll bring it up, and we can do a taste test. Sounds good. So this batch has been going for about 26 hours is what it took for it to run through. We opened up the valve in the back that lets the air back into the chamber. Cold, cold in there. And this is what we got. Bananas. Bananas. More bananas. strawberries and a little bit of pineapple from when I made those tacos the other day I had this left over more strawberries and bananas the bananas look funny they do they look like banana raisins kind of That's fun. It doesn't feel like banana, but it tastes like it. That's really fun. Hmm. Strike strawberry. Excellent. That's really good. That's like. Hmm. Yeah. Once you like, you start chewing it, and it breaks apart into pieces. And then it mixes with your saliva and turns back into like softer. Then shelling. all the flavors come out. Pineapple. Oh my gosh, so good. Hmm. I'm gonna try another piece. Mm -hmm. 
But it's all very, very, very good. <laughs> like, I don't think I'd want to rehydrate it because it's just a really, really good snack. Yeah. I think that's what um, a lot of people will do is they'll just eat them like this as snacks. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. A little dangerous, though. <laughs> <laughs> We wouldn't eat that much, I think, real fruit, but I could sit here and just snack and snack and snack on these. Yeah, that was a fun little experiment. This was only our second batch that we've done and we haven't, we've kind of been trying to use it and use it and use it to make sure we fully understand how it works before we really, really start sharing it with you guys. But this was a really fun experiment. Yeah, we gotta get these packaged up though right away. It's so humid in the house with all the rain. I mean, especially the strawberries and the pineapple will just, it's just like spun, you know, will yeah. soak up the moisture in the air. Cool. We'll let that thing defrost down there. We'll get these trays clean. We'll toss in the mushroom. puffball mushroom and something else too, maybe, because we're going to have some extra space. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wanted to do the tomato chips. I told them. Oh, yeah. yeah. So. Perfect. All right, guys, we'll see you. Maybe next video will be a proper freeze dry video. And hey, we proved my, the white puffball mushrooms are definitely edible. Um, it's just up to you whether or not you like the texture. And I'm sure there's other ways of incorporating it into your diet. Free food just right in the backyard. So we'll probably keep harvesting them and keep um, processing them mm -hmm. just so that we have um, some free protein. Yeah, even cube like that would be mm -hmm. good in soup. Just yep. toss them in and let it rehydrate. Right. All right, see you guys on the next video. Mm, that's really good. I know, it's so good. It's kind of like eating like freeze-dried smoothie. We should put some in a little Ziploc bag for Nick to take on his road trip. Oh, yeah. The one thing I was reading though, if you eat too much of it when it's dry like this, and you don't drink enough water, it can make you really upset stomach. People make people sick.